Hello, I'm Matt Landers with Covalence. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Next.js to create a React app. So why would you use Next instead of just React? Well, Next has some built-in features that are very easy to use and take advantage of uh, that I think a lot of you will appreciate. For instance, if you've ever tried to do server-side rendering with React, it can be kind of painful, <laughs> to say the least. Also, code splitting or something like that. Well, Next has all of this built into it already. So with Next.js, whenever you create an application, server-side rendering is on by default, and um, also code splitting is enabled by default, um, which is a pretty big advantage, especially if you're gonna create like a marketing site with React. You pretty much wouldn't want to do that with just React and the way that it works natively because it loads the whole site up and it's hard for a uh, search engine to navigate that. Also, you need to add things in like the title and the meta descriptions and things that you would want on a marketing site. On a web app or something behind a login, these things aren't nearly as important uh, and you can kind of get away with not having them server-side rendered. But for a marketing site, you definitely want to be server-side rendering and you also want to be code splitting so that your pages load as fast as possible. So let's dive in, create our first Next.js app and see how it all works. This is gonna be pretty quick um, just to kind of get you started. So we're gonna npm install next react and react-dom. And then we're gonna go to our package JSON and we're going to add in a one script here, which I'm gonna wait a second for this to update. Uh, I can probably go ahead and order it. Add it in, so I'm gonna add dev, and then next. If I save this, this is gonna come through uh, with some other stuff. Boom, there they are. Um, all right, so before we start and we run this, we've gotta create a folder called pages. Now, this is different than how you might do other React apps, but you have to have this folder uh, for Next.js because this is where your routing happens. So you don't even have to worry about routing in Next. It's really cool. All that is built in for you. Uh, and the way that it works is that you just create your pages inside of a pages folder at the root directory of your project. So if I create an index.jsx, this is gonna be the root of my website. So I'm just gonna very quickly export uh, JSX um, that just says hello world. So this is just a quick React component, um, function component. And now we got that. And all we have to do now is just run this. So I'll just say npm run dev. And it also has hot loading already built in, which is pretty freaking cool. So let's go ahead and get a new window and localhost 3000. Boom. All right, so what I mean by hot loading, so this is working. We're at our root directory, so that index is our root directory. Uh, but if I come in here and I change this from hello world to next, and I save it, and I go back, it's already on next. I don't even have to refresh my page. So I'm hot reloading all of my changes right here. And I'll just put this side by side so that you can see it as we make changes. So if I add an extra exclamation point and I save it, boom, it's already over there. All right, so now how do I have other pages? So index makes sense, but what if we wanted an about page? Well, let's create an about.jsx. We'll quickly export something here, export default, uh, just a little function, and we'll just say about. Now, if I come over here and I go to slash about, there we go, we've already got this set up. We didn't have to do any routing, no React router involved here. We just have this working already. And also code splitting is happening as well, which we'll look at here in just a second. So let's go ahead and go over here and look at something else that we can do. We need to add a head to this because right now our title isn't in this. So what we can do is we can import head from net slash head. And then we're gonna have to wrap this component in a div, so let's do that. Or we can just wrap in a fragment, I suppose. Um, and then I'm gonna add a head here. Now this doesn't actually get rendered here, it's just used for next to know what you wanna put in the head. 
and I'll put the title and say hello next in the title. And when I save this, we're not on the home page, but now we are. All right, so now we have hello next in the title. So here we can put meta descriptions, uh, social tags, anything that we need. Now I would recommend creating your own head component that pulls in this one and then has like your basic stuff in there already that you can add to it. Um, I might do another tutorial on how to do that. Um, if somebody wants it, just post in the comments if you'd like to see that. Um, just because you don't want to have to put your meta tags and everything on every single page that you have, if you can just import your own component where that's already there, then I'll save you a lot of time and a lot of JS sites that you don't have to have in every single page. All right, now we want to add a link to this. So linking in here is already built in as well. So if I import link from net slash link, this is going to give me the routing that I want. So down here, I'll add a link. This part's a little bit weird how this works. I'm sure there were reasons for it, but I'm gonna have a link to about, uh, but inside of this link, I need a blank um, anchor tag. Uh, and that's where we're gonna put our text. And it's just gonna say about. So if I save that, you'll see it comes over here. And when I click, uh, I go to the about page. Now this is really cool. And let's look at how this works. Um, I'm gonna, Pull this over and show you the dev tools. Now I'm going to go here. I'm going to refresh so we can see the network. So it pulled down this page, right? But code splitting is built in by default. So whenever I route and I go to about, it pulls down the about um, the, the about component. So it doesn't pull it down initially on the home page. But whenever I route, the routing after you have that initial page load is all client side. And then it'll pull down on demand what uh, you request. So in this case, I transition to the about page and it pulls that package down. So you don't actually pull down anything until you request it, which is really cool. So your page loads are really fast. And this would happen the opposite way too. If I hit about first, it would only load the about and then load the home one, which we can do a little test on that real quick if we want. We'll just copy over what we have in here. Actually, we'll just copy the whole thing. And here we'll change this to about, and we'll change this to home. So I'll save that. Now, let's see what happens. So if I go to about and I refresh the page, so now our network stack is restarted. When I go home, you'll see now it downloaded the index.js. So no matter what page you hit, you're only going to load whatever you need for that particular page. And then as you navigate, it'll pull the packages that it needs, the JavaScript files that it needs in order to load that particular page. So all this is built in. I have another um, video on how to do code splitting if you wanted to do this without Next. And it does this exact same thing, uh, which you can go check out on our YouTube channel on Covalence. Um, but yeah, this is all built into React. So this is server side rendering or into Next. This is server side rendering. We looked at the head, we looked at the link. There's a lot of other things that you can do with Next, but these are the basics that'll get you started, especially if you're just creating a marketing site. So go ahead, play with this. If you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to respond with other videos and other information on how this works or really anything that you want. So if you want anything JavaScript related, let me know and I'll create some videos. So happy coding.